hey what's up <laughs> so uh, a lot of people have been posting videos lately actually i don't know if it's a lot of people but the people that i watch have been uploading videos lately um where they're using marie kondo's method if you haven't seen tidying up with marie kondo it's like this show where she goes to people's houses and just like helps them clean up their lives basically and she has a certain method to cleaning um and people on youtube have been adopting this method to clean out their clothes and stuff like that and so i was inspired to partake because my t-shirt collection has gotten a bit out of hand to say the least um and it is a rainy Sunday afternoon and I don't have anything better to do because I don't feel like doing homework right now. <laughs> um, so I'm going to bring you all along with me to try and clean out my t-shirt collection. Because um, I've become a bit of a hoarder of t-shirts. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Something I have yet to get over. <laughs> okay, um, let's do this. This is my t-shirt drawer. Currently, it is an absolute mess. It is bursting, like it doesn't, it like barely closes. And there's more here that didn't fit into this drawer because it's so full. And I'm pretty sure I have more t-shirts in here and down there. So, basically, my entire dresser is just, like, full of t-shirts, and it's a lot. Like, and I'm pretty sure I'm in my dorm right now, or my apartment, and I have more t-shirts at home, too, that I didn't bring with me. So, basically, the Marie Kondo method is, like, you take everything out and put it on your bed, and then you... Put it into like different piles like keep give away throw away i think and you only keep things that spark joy um so i guess that's the plan this pile already goes in keep because these keeps you not the laundry so obviously i store them Gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> this one is my ex boyfriend's giveaway slash throwaway giveaway. Is it kind of a nice shirt? This is one that I tried to make into a crop top, but it didn't really work out, so I think that's a throwaway. This is another one that I tried to crop, but I accidentally cut off way too much, which makes me sad. But I guess it's a throwaway. Sug Life. This is um, Joe and Zoe Sugg's merch. I got this when I was a big fan, but I don't even watch their videos anymore. So I feel like I should give it away. Like if I don't 
don't watch my videos, why would I keep this? Padres, <laughs> this is my brother's minor league jersey. I really like this one. Oh my gosh. I'm the worst. Okay, so this is my keep pile. This is my giveaway pile. And this is my trash pile. Literally, that's seven I'm giving away, two I'm throwing away, and the rest I'm keeping. I don't want to talk about it. But. The next step in the Marie Kondo method is organizing them and then folding them so that you can see all of them when they're sitting in the drawer. So I'm going to have to look up how to do that. Now, I am going to demonstrate how to fold clothes. The key point here is to feel the piece of clothing with your hands and communicate your affection through your palms. It is very important to have this thought in mind while you fold your clothes. Folding clothes is not about making it compact, but it is about love to communicate your affection and gratitude for their continuous support. First, fold both sleeves like this. Now, make a long rectangle with the body of the item in the middle. Then fold it in half. And then fold into a third. When a piece of clothing is folded correctly, it will stand. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Well, um, that's it. I still have a lot of t-shirts. But I like all of them, so I'm gonna keep them. Um, but at least now I can see them all and they're organized. And yeah, I still have like two other drawers that are very messy and could use organizing too, but I don't feel like doing that right now. So. That's it for this video. I'm still whispering because I'm still so conscious about my room. <laughs> um, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you like this kind of thing because there's always something to be cleaned and organized. So let me know. And that's it. I will see you guys next time with another new